Hi, I'm Angie and I'm the Continuing Education Coordinator here at the North Dakota State Library. In today's Library 101, we're going to talk about marketing your library and using pictures in those marketing materials. Are you using photographs? Advertisements for events are much more eye-catching when a photo is included in it. However, using clip art no longer counts as using a good eye-catching photo. Full color or artistic images are needed to pull the patron in. This type of marketing and advertising is needed whether you're printing a flyer or posting an event on Facebook. Everything is more interesting with pictures. Are the photos you're using legal? Photos found from a Google image search may have restrictions to their use which means that copying and pasting that you might have been doing could get the library into trouble for copyright infringement. When searching for images, make sure that they are either in the public domain or that they have Creative Commons licenses attached to them. An item in the public domain means that the author has either waived their rights to the work or that it was published before the copyright law. An item with a Creative Commons license means that the author of the work has waived their rights to it and allows people to use and manipulate the photo as they would like. There are different levels of Creative Commons licensing, so make sure to do your research before choosing an image. Where do you get these free photos? There are a ton of free sites out there that allow users to pull their images and use them. Two of the most popular sites used by our marketing specialists are Pixabay and Unsplash. Some popular free use sites require an account, but neither Pixabay nor Unsplash requires that account, nor do they require attribution be made to the author when an image is used. For a larger list of places to find images, check out the library development blog Field Notes for a post on free and legal stock images. If you have any further questions on this topic, please email me at ndsltrain at nd.gov.